Hey everyone, Hassan here. Got another Power Rangers Mega Force review for you today. This is a review of the Gosei Ultimate Megazord. Spoiler alert, uh, this has not shown up in Mega Force yet, but new episodes of Mega Force do resume this Saturday. Um, although I'm not sure when this video will be posted, so maybe they've already resumed by the time this video is posted, probably. But anyways, um, so this will be coming up later this year on Power Rangers Mega Force. This is the Gosei Ultimate Megazord. Just found this at Walmart recently, and um, it is pretty awesome. I actually really like this thing. And what I really like about it is how there's a bunch of different modes that this thing has. So this is the spaceship mode here. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to quickly go over the usual uh, stuff first, like the box and everything. So um, here's the the big box for this thing. So it says Gosei Ultimate Megazord. There's a picture of, of what it looks like in the show. It does come with two cards, which I'll show you in a second. Um, it says armor open, so the different uh, zords that it has will open up like that. And it has a spaceship mode, as you can see. But otherwise, standard packaging there, like for the mega zords. Um, and it is Zord Builder compatible. So everything since the uh, Mighty Morphin 2010 toy line has been Zord Builder compatible. So you can mix and match with the Mighty Morphins, Samurai, and... Uh, Mega Force, Mega Zords, and everything, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the side shows Gosei Ultimate Mega Zord there again, and different ways to play the card game. The other side just shows the card scanner app. Um, the bottom is your usual stuff there with the UPC and everything. The top has Gosei Ultimate Mega Zord there, and then the back is where the other fun stuff is. Um, so here it shows the multiple modes, how there's Megazord mode, um, Spaceship mode, and uh, you'll see, you can actually, if you have the Ghost Great Megazord, which I do, uh, he can wear the thing as like a backpack kind of thing, which so I guess he'll fly around with it maybe, and he can even stand on it too, so that's kind of neat. Um, and what's really cool about this is you can actually use this as sort of a command center, because uh, if you have the Ghost Morpher, if you've seen the show, you know, Ghost it looks just like the Morpher, so you can basically have them stand there as if it's a command center, in a way. Um, so they just show you don't actually need these specific three figures. They don't do anything special. But it's just saying you can use four-inch figures and have them on display there as if you're talking to Gose. Um, so I'll show you guys all of that fun stuff. So uh, before we get to all that, real quick, I do want to go over the cards, because um, I don't want to um, forget or anything. So this does come with two cards here. Okay, it comes with promo card number 63 and 141. So there's two cards there. Uh, so first, let's take a look at the sounds they make in the Gosei Morpher. Whoops. So promo card number 63, Gosei Ultimate Megazord. So there it is in the spaceship mode. So it's a Summon Megazord. So there's that. And then you have this card with the Ghostly Ultimate Megazord shooting out uh, the different Zords. Victory charge. So it says Victory Charge. So, if you're a toy collector, or a card collector rather, or toy collector, either one, um, if you want all the cards, you gotta get the Ghostly Ultimate Megazord because these cards are exclusive to this toy. And this toy is worth it. So, um, oh, real quick, the uh, clips from the card scanner app. That's right. So let's uh, turn the volume on on there. Oops. All right, first up, promo card 63, Ghostly Ultimate Megazord. Here we go. So just him punching stuff. Um, and then we have this other one here, promo card 141. That was pretty cool. That was my first time seeing those clips. Um, yeah, so that one just kind of showed how it's in the little spaceship mode, and then it transformed and shot the Zords. Um, so again, these are your two promo cards there. 
All right, on to the uh, the Megazord itself, the the main event here. There's lots to cover with this thing, so let's get right to it. So this is it in spaceship mode, um, and it's it's pretty big. It's pretty good size, as you can see. Um, so really neat looking. Um, just as a little, let me see if I have something for a size comparison. Um, here's one of the four inch figures. So if you just want to see, you know, four inch figure maybe standing next to it. Um, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty big size. So, um, there's that. Uh, so in terms of paint from the front, um, you know, I'm not too sure exactly how it looks like in the show. Um, I didn't watch that far in Ghost Sager and stuff. Um, but it's kind of basic, you know, there's like the red sticker around here, um, or is that even a sticker? Um, yeah, I think it's a sticker, yeah. Uh, and so there's that. Actually, this might be paint, and this is a sticker, I think. I don't know. Um, but you have your different Zords there, uh, which you can kind of see better on this side. So this is the reverse side of the spaceship, and it has three wheels, so you're able to basically roll this around, so that's nice. Um, you have your different Zords here as well, so if you want a little up-close look at some of these, there's the uh, the one for the Pink Ranger, the Blue Ranger. Um, I'll have to open this up a little just to, to get a look at these other ones here. There's the one for the Yellow Ranger. The Black Ranger there. And the Red Ranger one. And the Red Ranger one, um, the little... Oops, horns on the side open up. So as you can see, it was like this, and I folded that open. Um, so that's kind of that one right there. Um, unfortunately, with the other Megazords, you know, you have your detachable Zords, right? So like if I have my Gosei Great here. Um, in fact, let me prop up my iPad just so you get a better view here. Um, so if I have my Gosei Great, you know, you have the Zords that are detachable. And there, I'll just do this one. Um, right? So unfortunately, the one, the one downside, the one thing that I would say I wish they would have improved maybe is having these Zords removable. But they made them a bit smaller, I think, um, just so they can kind of fit all the other stuff. So that's why they're not detachable. Um, so that is one downside there. But uh, they're still, um, it's still pretty neat to, to have this thing. Um, so let me put all that stuff back into place. So I will show you how to transform it and everything in a little bit. But that is Gosei Ultimate Megazord in the spaceship mode right there. Um, so kind of rolls around like that. Um, you do also have these things that are detachable on the sides. So you have, yeah, if I can take that out. It's in there pretty firm, there we go. Um, so you have this and then on the other side there's one as well. So let me detach that <laughs> hold on it's it's hard with the iPad right in front of me because I can't get a good grip on this thing there we go um, and so what this does is these are um, they can be used as weapons so you can actually have Gosei Ultimate hold it or you can even have Harris I'll take the Gosei Great Megazord so you can either hold them like that use them as swords like so or you can even uh, take one of these ends and you just connect them right there and just kind of stick that in like that. And there you go. There's that combined weapon there. Um, so that's kind of neat to have that, uh, that combined oops, thing there. Um, but otherwise these things can attach onto the sides here of the little spaceship mode. Um, but yeah, so I mean this thing looks pretty neat as is in spaceship mode and what's cool about this then is you can have the Megazord stand on top of it. So here's my Gosei Great and he stands in place like so. So there's no nothing like connecting it in place. You just kind of sit it down. So this little hole here kind of rests on that in a way. Um, so like if I just stand them, actually it just sits there like that. So it doesn't really connect in anything, but it, it's pretty sturdy overall, as long as you don't move it too fast, as you can see. Um, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, he's like flying on this little spaceship thing. You can even lift it up, and he's pretty sturdy, so... Yeah, pretty sweet. Um, the Gosei Grand Megazord 
does not rest as nicely on there. He doesn't really, he doesn't, he just fell over. Yeah, he's too, I think, top heavy for it to stand up like that. So he's not meant for this. It's really, and now I'm dropping my iPad. This is just a mess. <laughs> um, the uh, It's really not meant for it. It's just meant for the Gosei Great Megazord, really. Um, so there's that. And speaking of the Gosei Great Megazord, what he can do is you can attach this as a backpack onto him. So what you do then is you lift this up like so, and this little connector goes in right there. And then you have these two hooks, which go in right there. So you just kind of push that in. And uh, it doesn't, like, really, it kind of clicks, but not really. Like, it, it rests into place nicely, like that, and it makes a slight click. Um, so it kind of holds into place, but if I were to shake this, it would probably fall out. Um, but it's still pretty neat looking. I had that on display like this on my um, on my desk earlier. And uh, he's pretty sweet. And go say Ultimate just fell over. So, all right, let's put this back on. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what he looks like with this as the, the backpack mode right there. So you really can't move him around too much, as you can see. Um, but it's still, I mean, you can kind of pick him up, but you just have to be careful because then it might fall off like he just did earlier. So, all right, there's that. Okay, now on to uh, the next bit of this, which is how you can turn this into the command center mode. And so what you can do with this command center mode is you just uh, open up the legs like that. Then you push all the zords in. So you're just going to have them all fold in like that. At least, um, at least those four. I think you can leave that guy there. And then you're going to... Push this part in like so, and then you just rotate and rotate and push it in like that. And then you can lift it up so it's horizontal and it rests in place just like that. Okay, and then what you can do, you grab your Gosei Morpher here, and you have these little prongs on the back there. So this slides into that, and it just rests right on the black tabs there. So only the bottom prongs slide on there, but uh, it rests into place just like that. And it looks pretty neat. I mean, there's your little command center there. Uh, I, I really like how the Ghost Morpher connects with a bunch of things. The Deluxe Dragon Sword, or Deluxe Ultra Dragon Sword, this thing. Um, I, it's really cool. Now, obviously, you can't use the card functionality or anything like that while he's in here, unless you really tried to hold the thing up and do this weird awkward thing um but uh but it's still pretty cool looking and you can say you know here's a uh, troy in ultra mode resting on the uh on the base there so basically what you'll see is there's little prongs right there the little um pegs right there and so all the four inch figures have the holes at the bottom of their feet so they can all rest right in there so you can have them all resting. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, and, you know, if you want to have them on display, and here's Robo Knight, he's talking to Gosei. So here's a little command center, and he's talking. And um, So it looks pretty cool to have that functionality, I think. Um, I definitely like that. In fact, I may eventually end up having him on display like this, because I think this looks neat. Um, and if you have the gold Gosei Morpher from San Diego Comic-Con, very shiny. This, of course, since it's the same exact thing, just gold, it fits in like that. So that looks kind of neat, too. I like the regular Ghost Day Morpher in this, though, just because all the color that it adds. This one's just kind of plain, but it's it's neat, I guess, to have this, this shiny gold thing on display. But, I mean, just look at this. Gold, or regular Ghost Day Morpher. That looks pretty cool. It looks just like in the show. You have Ghost Day standing there, and he's, he's talking to everybody, and yeah, it's pretty neat. I like that. Um, so, okay. So now, basically, we're on to the last part. Uh, so I'm just going to switch this back here to the spaceship mode, um, somewhat at least. And uh, actually, no, let's not do that because we're going to have to unconnect that. So I'm going to transform this now to the Megazord mode. So to do that, let's start with the legs. So we'll fold those in like that, turn them, turn 
like that. And then um, the weapons basically come off now. That little thing that we combined to form the weapon. So that comes out. Yeah, there we go. So those come out of there, and then this part folds out like that to make the feet. Okay? Then from here, um, you're going to open this part out. This folds down, and you do extend these, so that way this can close, and when they're extended, that kind of fills in that gap there. And then the hands go down like that, and you pull out the hands a little bit. Oops, not out that much, but like, yeah, if I can try and get this, there we go, like that. Let's put that back on. And then same on this side here, pull that out about that much. Um, then you're able to fold this down, fold this down, and there. Um, so it does, at first I thought like the arms are supposed to be like this, just because it seems that way, but they're actually supposed to be like this. Um, so that is a little weird, um, cause just because it's all gray right there, um, but that is how it's supposed to be. And then for the head, what you do is this back part comes out, and then you just rotate this around and push it back. And then from the front, you're able to pull that out like that. So there you have it, guys. The hair is Gose Ultimate. Um, and uh, let me give him his little weapons here. So we'll give them as his swords. And you'll see the full view. Hair is Gose Ultimate. And he looks pretty neat. Um, you know, I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, in terms of the detail, I mean, you have your Zords here, which are kind of your basic detail on there. Nothing too fancy, but still kind of neat to have. And you can open this up, just like his his Victory Charge, I guess. These do open up somewhat. Uh, you kind of have to, in order for these Zords to open fully, um, the arm kind of blocks it a little. So you really have to have the hands flat. They can't be facing forward at all. They have to be flat like this so you can open those up. So you can do that little attack there if you want. Like it's showed in the card scanner clip and everything, you can have those open. And then the Zords don't come out, but you know you do have that functionality there. Um, and then again, in terms of the, the detail, there's the little um, head that you can see, which looks kind of neat. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing too fancy in terms of the, the paint and everything. Um, but, uh, I mean, overall, he's a solid-looking figure. I mean, he, I think he looks kind of neat. Um, yeah. And then when you stand him next to some of the other ones, um, like if I have, where's my, my Gose Great and my Gose Grand Megazord. So I'll, uh, show you that little comparison there. So there are all of the uh, the Megazords together. So they look pretty cool together. And it's almost in, in order of, this, here's your normally sized one. He's kind of bulky there, and he's just bulky all around. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, they look pretty sweet together. I like that. And last but not least, the other thing about Gose Ultimates is just like with any of the other Megazords, as I mentioned, it is Zord Builder compatible. So if I wanted, I can take off the arm there. I can take off this arm. Um, let's also, while we're at it, let's take off this leg and this leg, if it wants to come off. There we go. And, uh, let's give it the shark there. Uh, let's give it one of these arms. And let's take something from the, um... Let's take the Sabertooth Tiger from the Mighty Morphin Megazord, and I'll take the Dragon from the Samurai Megazord. Um, I don't even know if this thing's going to stand up. It's probably so awkwardly proportioned. Um, oh, okay. Well, there you have it. So, you can really make some weird combinations with this thing, um, just like with any of the other stuff. So that's definitely cool to have that, that Zord Builder functionality. Um, and the collectors and stuff may not get as much out of it, um, except for messing around in videos like I'm doing right now. 
Um, but other than that, I mean, I think it's still a solid addition um, for the kids, especially if they're going to be collecting all these Megazords. The more Megazords you have, the more combinations that you can make of things. So you definitely get much more value out of it with the more of these things that you have. Um, so if I can stick it back on. Um, yeah, definitely. I think Gosei Ultimate overall, I really like this guy. Um, he has just a bunch of different things. I think the spaceship mode looks pretty neat. Um, I like that you can have the Gosei Great Megazord connect with it, like either on his back or he can be standing on it, which also looks pretty cool. Um, I like that uh, you can use this as a command center for the with the Gosei Morpher. I think that's oops. I think that's definitely pretty cool. Um, and uh, I mean, just overall, this guy in general just looks pretty sweet. I think. Um, I really, I really like the look of it. In terms of posability, you know, you're kind of, you can move them side to side. You can't bend it at the, the elbows or anything. The knees, you can kind of bend it, but you can't move the legs forward or back. So you're kind of limited in posability with just him alone. Um, but he does combine with a bunch of other stuff. And so you definitely have that functionality in terms of posing, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so that's basically my review of the, the Gosei Ultimate Megazord. Um, he's just, Pretty sweet. I definitely recommend them, especially if, if you have the Ghost A Great Megazord uh, and or the Ghost A Morpher. The added uh, connectivity with those things, I think, is, is really worth it. So definitely hunt this guy down. Um, he's in stores now. So far, I think at just Walmart, but he might pop up other places soon as well. So uh, if you guys have any questions about him specifically, let me know. Post them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer them for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys later. Go, go, Megaforce!